Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another review. This time around, I'm going to be doing a review for Nerve. And yeah, this movie stars Dave Franco, Emma Roberts, and Machine Gun Kelly, the rapper. So yeah, before I begin though, 10 second spoiler warning as usual. For those who have yet to actually watch this movie and haven't already, stop the video, go check it out, and come back and watch the rest of this review. 10 second spoiler warning as usual, starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those who have yet to actually watch this movie and haven't already, uh, please don't comment down below or be messaging me that I never gave you a fair one, because as usual, I did. So as usual, quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, and then the rate. So basically, you have this game, and it's called Nerve, and it's basically truth and dare without the truth, and yeah, it's basically a whole game of dare, and it has to happen within this 24-hour time period, and whoever gets the top place becomes the ultimate Nerve player, and it seems that this game has been going around for at least some time. It's it's it happened at least once before because it happened in Seattle, but now it's taking place in New York. And you have this one girl, Emma Roberts, and her character. She is this really I wouldn't call her innocent per se, but she's really shy. She doesn't really like to go be out there. She doesn't really like showing herself. And one day after having an argument with her friend, she says, "You know what? I'm going to prove my friend wrong and show her that I could take on a dare." And she takes on a dare, and then another dare, another dare, and another dare, and she eventually hooks up with Dave Franco, who's also a Nerf player, and theoretically one of the best Nerf players there is, period. Come to find out, however, that the Nerf game is dangerous, somehow that surprises everybody, and now she has to kind of, her Dave Franco and Machine Gun Kelly have to try to figure out a way to cheat the Nerf game and then shut it down ultimately shut it down so they could get back to their lives, their, you know, they're not lives normally, so, yeah, pretty cool, I actually didn't know this was based off a book, which apparently it's based off a book, so it's pretty interesting in that, in and of itself, the fact that it is based off a book, and my first thought when I saw this is like, how, I mean, I understand that they, they are doing some borderline illegal stuff, but how did it take all, all the way up until the end for someone to say, hey, how's about you try to kill someone? Like, that was my first thing. I assume people would start trying to do illegal shit from, like, the start, in my opinion. And, and in the book, apparently they do a lot of illegal crap in the in the book. So I guess they tried to tame it down a bit for the movie, which I guess makes sense if they want to get a bigger audience. I don't, I've, I don't know what this is rated, to be honest. I haven't checked. But, you know, whatever. And my first thought is, like, some something's gonna go wrong. Something's gonna go illegal really fast, and I'm surprised it actually took them kind of a long time to for them to actually do to, to do something illegal. I mean, granted, there was that one scene from the trailer that you guys saw where it's Dave Franco and Emma Roberts are running through this department store naked, and that is kind of illegal in and of itself. But it wasn't inherently inherently illegal. Like they, the watchers, because you have two two pe um, people, you have players and watchers. The watchers weren't really gonna make them do anything illegal. It's just something that kind of happened because they didn't really want to rob. So they, one illegal thing for another illegal thing, you know, which is the lesser of two evils. However, they really didn't start doing illegal stuff to like the end, which is my first thought. My first thought would have been, wouldn't something illegal would have happened a long time ago? Also, my second thought was, well, how is this game not shut down? They do explain it, explain it in the movie, however, that every person is a server and it has something to do with the deep web or the dark web. And I really did like their explanation. I, however, I liked their explanation. I thought it was a bit rushed, but I liked their explanation. The movie as a whole is actually really entertaining. It is fast-paced, and I think in that, it does lag a bit. With it being so fast-paced, you kind of don't have a time to like kind of take a breath and actually analyze what's going on with this movie, because some of the stuff they're doing really doesn't make sense. I mean, granted, it is nerves, so they have to kind of take the dare or not, you know, or they lose the game or whatever. But some of the stuff just kind of doesn't make sense. Realistically, like, how is Dave Franco going to go on a motorbike or a motorcycle at 60 miles per hour blindfolded basically and having Emma Roberts you know say hey go right left right and not crash I don't know but that's just one thing I actually said the performances here are actually pretty good in my opinion so is the writing the writing and the performances here overall are pretty good and I really do like it the fighting between Emma Roberts and her friend I forget her name but she's but it's really good in my opinion and I really do like it and it's kind of like hey you said I was too shy so I decided to take a dare like so yeah not that type of dare I said you know take baby steps not play fucking nerve like not the type of dare I was thinking and how can you steal my thunder type of stuff it was pretty good in my opinion i really did like it overall it was a really enjoyable movie and although it is a bit fast paced you do need to take a breather from time to time and you do kind of 
suspend your belief, you know, from time to time, because this movie does make you suspend your belief, you know, just be in disbelief throughout this whole movie, because there are some stuff that realistically wouldn't even happen, even, even, like, like, logically, it just wouldn't happen, so, overall, I like the movie, it was great, in my opinion, I did like it, you know, just, you know, suspend your, your, your disbelief, or whatever the thing is, the, I forgot what the quote is, suspend your, um, your amount of belief, or some shit like that, I have it right at the tip of my tongue, I can't fucking say it for some reason, but, Ungar, it's a good movie, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, and 6 being decent, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10, overall, it's a really fun movie, I'll say, it's basically it for now, and that my rating is a 7. 0.5 out of 10, as I said before, and yeah, it's basically it for now. Subscribe, comment down below, like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, or whatever you prefer, and that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.